I'm going to show you how to submit an insurance claim right from your Dulato account. You'll start by clicking on Billing and then click on Claims. If for some reason you don't have the Claims button here, go ahead and send us an email to support at dulato.co and we will get that set up for you. You'll click on New Claim and then choose which client it's for and hit Continue. The insurance claim form will pop up and all of the fields in yellow will need to be completed. This box up here is where you will fill in the payer information. You can search for your payer here and if it's not in the system already, again, go ahead and send us an email at support at dulato.co with the name of the payer and their ID number. I'll just be doing a test payer. Then you'll put in your client's insurance ID number here. This section is for your client's information, including their address, their date of birth, and their relationship to the insured. Down here, you will enter in the diagnosis code. You have to fill in the place of service, and there is a drop down menu for that here. And then you put in the CPT code and any modifiers. And then you'll enter in the diagnosis pointer. Here you'll put in the charges. And for days or units, you can just put one. You'll want to check yes for accept assignment. And then on the left hand side here, the first time you fill out a claim, you will have to put in your tax ID number or social security number here. You'll also need to enter in your own address and your NPI number. And once everything is filled out, you can go ahead and click submit. And that claim was submitted. Sometimes there might be an error, and if you have this happen to you and you have any trouble with it, send us an email again at support at .co and we can walk you through how to fix the error. Now, once a claim is submitted, you'll need to keep track of it on your own on whether or not you get reimbursed for that claim. If you click here, you can view events, and this is a great place to check if there are any issues with the claim, or if it was rejected, you can see what the reason was and go back and fix that. So for this example, the tax ID type was not in there um, or the NPI number was wrong. And so once that was fixed and resubmitted, then it was accepted. The status here will show you whether it's been submitted, processed, rejected, and then under result, you can see again whether it's been accepted, rejected, or if it's been paid. An easy way to keep organized if you do a lot of insurance claims is you could archive the claim once it's been paid so you know that you don't need to worry about that one anymore. And then to find it again, you would hit view archive and you could see which ones you have archived. You can also filter this list by draft, submitted, processed, accepted, rejected, paid, or denied. While you're filling out the claim, you can click on view client right here to look at their profile if you need their address or anything. And that is how the claims feature works in Dulato. Let us know if you have any questions.